What is up everybody, Rod J back in the house. Thank you for swinging by to check out another beer video. And today, I'm gonna to share another beer with you and this is gonna be one that I picked up for one of my local spots and it's actually from Lighthouse over here in Canton area in Baltimore, Maryland. And this was one I picked up for Crowler, 19.2 ounces of Cricket Crab Brewing, 12% ABV. It is a look at their German Chocolate Eternal Death Slayer. So they can get all that written in there. But 19.2 uh, ounces, as I mentioned, Imperial Stout. This was actually done in a five hour boil, double matched Eternal Death Slayer, which is a regular Imperial Stout that was then aged on coconut, vanilla, and cacao nib. So looking forward to getting into this one and the uh, special version they did. Let's crack it open, get it into a glass, see what this one has to offer. All right, so into the glass, no head, as you can see, came out on the pour, really. You know, you got a little bit of a sliver up there, but uh, not really too much there. So we know we've got a good dose of ABV in play. And I will say, if you're ever in the Baltimore area, Lighthouse is one of my top two spots to actually check out for beer. The other one is the wine source. I would definitely say put that on your list. I actually try to share some different things on Yelp as well. So if you follow me on there, you'll see some of my notes. But definitely worth a visit. Just dark black color as expected. On the nose, I'm getting a feel of the barrel age. I'm getting some vanilla. I'm picking up that burble. I'm burble. I'm picking up that bourbon. Picking up some of the woodiness from the oak barreling. Nice amount of sweetness there on the nose. Definitely get some of that coconut running in the background and the cacao nibs come through nicely. So you're getting pretty much everything as advertised about the beer. Love a nice Imperial Stout. I feel like this one is gonna have a nice little smoothness to it. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get that taste. Mm. Very smooth indeed. A nice mouth coat and effect from the beer. A nice mouth feel. Carbonation is toned down, so you have a nice smoothness, almost like a caramelly underbelly layer to this beer. That vanilla comes through. The cacao is really coming out nicely in the background on the aftertaste. You can feel it nicely there in the throat. I have a nice little bit of a stickiness in play there in the mouth as well from the uh, beer itself. Getting a good amount of the flavor, getting a nice duration of the flavor. So everything seems to be coming together very nice on this one here. Yeah, give it that hold for a second in the mouth. I'm not getting a lot of tongue prickling, but when you hold it, you feel the flavors really add into the cheek area. Both cheeks kind of get that nice amount of flavor I'm getting a nice little bit of a syrupy type texture there really has a nice little lip smacking type quality to it in that I'm getting the flavors on the lip and you kind of just want to keep tasting it from that regard really lingering around nicely overall body wise a nice fuller body on the beer here not really getting too much of a thinness. Shout out to PA Brew News on that one. And I'm pretty pleased with it. So Cricket Crab is out of Odenton, Maryland. So another Maryland brewery that I've been uh, getting a few of their beers here and there. But this was definitely well worth a pickup. If you are a fan of Imperial Stout, I would definitely say give this one a go. This one I could put up there with some of the bigger Imperial Stouts that a lot of us are used to actually trying out there. I would definitely get this again, and I'm gonna have fun just enjoying this. But again, 19.2 ounce can that I picked up here. Price-wise, I think on this one, I wanna say it might've been 10.99 for the can. So not bad um, for the size and for what you got. Very competitive, actually better value than some of the other specialized Imperial Stouts out there. But yeah, Crooked Crab, say it one more time, German Chocolate Eternal Death Slayer. Sounds like a metal record a little bit there. <laughs> but very nice, very uh, much worth a try for sure. Definitely dig it. 
untapped. I'm going to actually put this one in here as a 4.5 out of 5 for me. I love a nice imperial stout. I love when the flavors come together. I love when you get that nice feel. You want to sit back, put your feet up, and just enjoy it. Wish I had a cigar right now because that would be a nice one to actually enjoy back as well. As the weather's starting to get better and get warmer, this would be a nice one in the evening to just kick back and relax and chill. Well worth picking up. Thanks for swinging by to check out this video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on, drink beer, live hot boy. Cheers, everybody.